Well, Hurricane Beryl is still a powerful category for Hurricane as it's impacting Jamaica tonight. Storm is already responsible for at least six deaths across the Caribbean and parts of South America. Emergency officials want those on or headed to the Texas coast this weekend to keep a close eye on its path. Fox 4's Blake Hansen in studio with the latest. Blake. Hey, Stephen Heather likely won't be until tomorrow when we have a full sense of the damage in Jamaica, but it's maintained much of its strength as it skirts south of the island nation tonight. Early images out of Jamaica show the impact of Hurricane Barrel as it began to scrape along the southern coast of the Caribbean nation, with conditions expected to worsen as the night wore on. I have no control over what, what is coming, so I just have to pray that all, all people of Jamaica is safe. Before its approach, residents worked to board up buildings and relocate boats. The government issued island-wide curfews and ordered evacuations for some living in low-lying areas and other locations prone to landslides. Jamaica must take this hurricane seriously. Prior to its brush with Jamaica, Hurricane Barrel wreaked havoc on other islands in the southeastern Caribbean. The storm became the earliest recorded to reach Category 5 strength in the Atlantic, with winds peaking at 165 miles per hour. The death toll in some areas expected to climb. In Granada, there was no power after it was hit, many roads impassable, and key agriculture has been wiped out. To see this level of destruction, it is almost Armageddon-like. The storm's impact also stretched south to Venezuela, where heavy flooding has led to multiple deaths. Now crews are working to track the path of barrel as it heads toward the Yucatan Peninsula and potentially Texas. Emergency crews are urging any visitors to the Texas coast this weekend into next week to pay attention. Make sure they have a go kit with emergency supplies just in case they're needed and make sure they have a way to heed those warnings of local officials. Governor Abbott has directed the Texas Division of Emergency Management to begin preparing for barrel and its potential impacts in Texas. The judge in Cameron County, which includes South Padre Island, issued a voluntary evacuation for RVs staying at county parks. Stephen Heather. All right, Blake Hansen in studio. Thank you.